Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something super exciting for you. I'm going to show you how to install and run Android 16 on your Windows PC or laptop. Absolutely free. Yes, you heard that right. Whether you are on Windows 10 or Windows 11, this method will work perfectly. You will be able to run Android apps, browse the Play Store and even try out games. All right from your desktop. So let's jump straight in. But first, there is one very important step we need to check before starting. Virtualization. Right click on your tax bar and then click on task manager. Click on the performance tab. Look at the right bottom corner. You should see virtualization enabled. If it's enabled, you are good to go. If it's disabled, you will need to enable it from your PC's BIOS settings before continuing. And I've made a separate tutorial on enabling virtualization, so check that out if you need help. Next, open your favorite browser. Search for Android Studio, then press enter to search. Now click on the first result from the search. Then you click on download Android Studio. Scroll down and then check I have read and agree with the terms and conditions. Now click on download Android Studio. The file is about 1.4 gig, so depending on your internet speed, it may take a few minutes, so be patient. Once downloaded, open the file to launch the setup wizard. Click yes, then you click on next. Again, click on next. Choose your install location if you want to change it. Then you click on next. Then you click install. Wait for the installation to complete. This may take a few minutes. Once the installation is complete, click on next. Then we check start Android Studio and then click on finish. If you get a help improve Android Studio pop-up, you can either click send or don't send, your choice. When Android Studio opens, you will see a setup wizard. Click on next. You'll be asked to choose the type of setup you want for Android, whether standard or custom. Choose standard setup, which is the recommended, and then you click on next. From here, the Android Studio setup will download additional components on the system. You can read through the current settings for more information. As you can see, the total download size is 2.37 GB. It may be slower or faster for you depending on your internet. Just click on next. Now accept the license agreement, then you click on next. This will download the additional components on your system and it may be faster or slower for you depending on your internet. Now click on yes, then you click on finish. Now let's create a virtual Android device. From the welcome screen, click more action. Then you click virtual device manager. Click the plus icon to create a new virtual device. Now you will see options for phone, tablet, Wear OS, desktop TV, automotive and XR. Here is something important. Android 16 isn't currently available for desktop emulation. It's only available for phone and tablet profiles. We will go with tablet. Then we will select Pixel tablet. Then click on next. Under API level, click for a drop down and then select Android 16. Next, click on the additional settings tab. Scroll down and under storage, increase the internal storage from the default 6GB to around 25-30GB to 30 gigabyte if you plan to install a lot of apps and games. Under emulated performances, if you have 8GB RAM total, give 4GB to Android. And if you have 16 gigabyte RAM, give 8 gigabytes for smoother performance. Now scroll up and then click on the device tab. And then select the Google Play Intel 86 system image. Then you click on finish. Next, in the device manager, select your Pixel tablet. Then you click on the play icon. Wait for a few seconds and you will see Android 16 booting up. You now have a fully functional Android 16 tablet running on your Windows PC. Next. Open Google Play Store and sign in with your Gmail account. And as you can see, everything is working perfectly fine, except I'm facing some lag issues. From here, you can open Google Play Store and sign in with your Gmail account. And then from there, install your favorite apps like YouTube, Instagram, games, and anything you like. There have been some cases where other users tested some games and apps like Candy Crush and then PUBG Mobile. The installation were fine, but crashed when launching, which I think is probably needs extra tweaking or higher resources. If you face lags in any app, simply power off the virtual device, go back to edit settings and increase CPU cores or RAM allocations. And then for smooth performance, make sure you close unnecessary background apps on your PC before running the Android Studio. And then use SSD storage for faster loading times. You can also adjust the emulator display settings to match your monitor's resolution for better visuals. 
There are also special buttons like the power button, volume, snapshot icon, zoom in, rotate left and then rotate right. We also have the back, home and then the overview key, which you can use to navigate through the Android. That's the end of this tutorial. If you found this helpful, please smash the like button, subscribe and drop a comment telling me which Android apps or games you are excited to try first. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.